Today we're visiting with George in his office at Trojan Heat Treat, and he's going to be talking a bit about Calhoun Foundry and Trojan Heat Treat. In 1943, I graduated from uh, Eastern Michigan, and uh, we worked for a year at uh, Franklin Settlement as a boys worker. And then in 1944, I married Biddy Giles and uh, received a, a job with the with Central Specialty in Ypsilanti. In the meanwhile, Betty graduate, graduated in the 45, and uh, we couldn't find a place to live in. Uh, to, in in Ypsilanti, because it's during the war, no rooms were available, and so she, we moved to Toledo, and uh, I would commute to Ypsilanti by bus because we didn't have a car from 1943, and. Uh, I started work while I was working at working at Central Specialty, and we had, but they got we got married in '44, and then we couldn't find a place to live in Ypsilanti because there was a room shortage and no rooms were available and no no rentals were available. And Betty's parents then moved to Toledo. And Betty's folks lived in Toledo, so Betty. Graduated from the Eastern in '45, and uh, we couldn't find a place, like I said, in, in Ypsilanti. So we moved to the home of Ypsilanti. And from Ypsilanti, I would commute to uh, Homer by bus, going to Ann Arbor, get from Ann Arbor to Albion, and the Albion road to Homer. And. Uh what were Betty's parents, uh, what was their business in Toledo? Betty's father lived in Toledo. He, had, he owned a Dewey pattern shop. He was a partner with Mr. Dewey and he eventually we owned the, bought Mr. Dewey out and owned the, 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 the pattern shop solely. And uh, Betty and Levi was living with them when I was living with them. Betty's mother and father in Toledo because they had a, a home and had room available for us and we couldn't find a place in, in Toledo to rent because, like I said, the rooms were scarce. So I had the job at Central Spe especially in Ypsilanti and I would commute from Ann Arbor to Ypsilanti every week and every Monday morning I would take a bus to Ann Arbor, from Ann Arbor to, to, to Albion, and from Albion I'd go to Kilmer, drive to the foundry in Homer. And I did that for a couple of years, and then every Friday night I would take a bus from, or a truck, and ship, could be ship casting in a truck every Friday, and I went to Toledo, so I was riding with the bus to Toledo, and, and after that I would hitchhike. Betty's place in Toledo, and that, that was on. So every Friday, that I leave Homer, like I say, by by with a truck. There were shipping classes to Toledo, casting to Toledo. And then, um, how did the uh, Homer connection start? Well, while I was working, while I was working at Central, Betty was going to school. Mr. Granger, who was uh, who was the president of Calhoun Foundry, and he uh, still retained his residence in, in uh, Ypsilanti, so he would commute from Homer to Ypsilanti every weekend. And uh, they were just starting a foundry in '43, and didn't have anybody to do the books for them, and so. We lived in Toledo, at Ypsilanti, and he'd bring the books to Ypsilanti, and I'd do the books over the weekend and be given to him so he could take them back to Homer every Monday. We did that for a 
couple of years until we could find a place to move in, in Homer because there, no, there weren't any rooms available. And we just, I can't remember exactly how many years until we finally found a place to live in uh, Homer. And we, what we did in the, in the, in the, the only place to go was a, in the funeral. In the apartment above Maine Funeral Home? Maine, so it's right, the Maine Funeral Home had a vacancy on the third floor, and we got that, uh, the only room that was available at that time. And we lived uh, at Maine's Funeral Home until, uh, well, we finally after uh, to live there, there for a couple of years, and, and meanwhile we were looking for a place to find out, find either a house or Reynolds, and there was nothing available, and we finally saw this property that we enjoyed the, on uh, 60. We were just boarding 60, boarding Homer. So and and that'll, be, that'll be another story, George. Okay. Right now, um, what was your position at uh, Calhoun Foundry when you were first moving here? Well, at Cap, Cap, Calhoun Foundry, I, when I was doing their, all their book work, I didn't have any. Oh, they had an office girl, but no one did the accounting and so forth. But I would do the books at home, in Homer or wherever I lived, and uh, take them to the foundry when I'd be there on a Monday. And we're going to continue this in just a, a minute.